Hello guys and welcome back to The Walking Dead, the final season. Last attempt. Boy, am I, am I just sick and tired of talking about things going wrong. Last attempt, I got like a minute into my freaking episode. Then my computer said, I'm going to decide to crash when you're recording your narration. And then I said, you know what? That's a big F you to you too. So then I just said, I'm just going to restart the episode. Like the little amount of time that I've gotten into it. I'm going to restart it, press triangle, and just do it. But before I go right into this, I did want to mention that, again, there is no way to save Marlin. The one thing I know about this game is that there's no way to save him. If you think you have a video of somebody doing it, that video is not a actual... It's not real? I could say this. It's like uh, swap codes or something. Like, let's say you have like Marlin like playing a freaking guitar and like Lewis is cooking. You can like swap the codes and like swap the characters and make just make it look like they're just doing something that the other person is doing. It makes it look like you're saving him or something. I don't know. You can change up like the roles of characters and like, you know, switch up the roles and like make it seem as if he was being saved. But it's not real. So the guy could either be using cheat codes or just be using swap codes. So I'm just saying. Again, there is no way to save him. I wish there was. I mean, come on, the less people that die in this freaking series, the better. Depends on who it is. But, hey. I know better than to talk about which people die and which people live. I'm just going to say that right now. Anyway, guys, you don't care. Let's get into episode two. Second attempt. <laughs> Previously on The Walking Dead. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. I didn't want to risk it. So I let him take some of the food and leave. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head.
made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlon was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlon did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? Fucking murdered him. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. No, he wouldn't do that. He'd never hurt any of you. It was Marlin threatened us. AJ pointed the gun first. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and... I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. How oh, the fuck are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? You said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. It's clear that she hates being asked about something like that. About the dark past. How can you ask me that? What you did? is completely different. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make you mad at all. I had to do it. I said I'm sorry. I had to. Uh, okay. I 
I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked. Before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. Before doesn't matter anymore. That world is gone. That's a sad way to look at it. Clem isn't sad. She's smart. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial will start it soon. See you out there. <sighs> this is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. I'm gonna need the coffee after this, even though it's not real. Who cares? Drink anyway. And boy, that lamp obviously looks like it can use some work. But hey. But after what AJ did, I'm gonna make him sleep on the bed again. You know, guys, I'm not actually like that. Uh, I'm kind of glad I let him s or like convinced him to sleep on the nice, comfy bed, let alone to sleep on the floor, even if it's what he wanted. Uh, but yeah, maybe we should, uh, put that flame out first, so, uh, we don't fucking catch a place on fire, because, like, killing one person is already bad enough. If we kill, like, uh, 12 more by catching the place on fire, then, yeah, there's, it's, it's done. It's done. Time to go. Soon. Anyways, uh, walking out of here now. Run up. Ready? Do yeah, this room like needs to be tweaked in like a hundred different ways. The walls are open, the floorboards are just freaking broken. Everything's just destroyed. I mean, but hey, it is the apocalypse, so. You got that to worry about. I did that. Come on. Well, we don't have, really have much of an option here. We have to attend this thing or else they're going to have more of a reason to hate us. But, uh, yeah. We need to, like, I don't know. At least make up for what we did wrong by attending this damn thing. By showing people that you know, we're at least here to see who's gone. If you get what I mean. Anyways. Oh, God. They're here. So what? 
They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Brody and Marlin. Tim said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. Shit. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. She was really that made them all sad. All like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? <laughs> Even monsters. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So? I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. He just killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Jordy decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. I don't want to leave. But if you all decide we should, we'll go. Clem. You heard her, kid. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go.
yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I, because I freaking know for sure as hell that I am. Like, Jesus. I'm loving it. And I am not sponsoring McDonald's, by the way. Like, holy shit. <laughs> God damn, I am not even going to go there at all. In a time like this, I can't even go inside of the place. I can make some freaking music out of AJ kicking the wall. And it's... I was gonna make a song, it's totally off freaking key. Off a of sync, dude. AJ, stop! You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work! I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't want to let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. You need to handle your feelings. Get them under control. I know, or I'll make mistakes. Exactly. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. I didn't oh, you, you love to. him. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine, I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not gonna fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. We'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave! They're gonna get rid of us! Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Sigh. <sighs> 
Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We should just let him keep it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna be more careful it's from now yours, on. It's yours, AJ. You should keep it. But I murdered Marlin with it. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <laughs> I mean, a kid was defending himself. Well, we he was too young bar? to even remember, Probably or at least not. realize what we he was doing. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Yeah, and it almost killed us. You saw how fucked up we were after that car crash. Swear. I think the problem is that, like... We're here. AJ we're right was, like, taught to Maybe shoot and aim and all that, but, like... He wasn't properly taught about... Who to actually kill I've and when plenty. to forgive. Thanks That's for just my philosophy on like the whole You're situation. Welcome. Again. I wish you could stay. I think I should just like provide more feedback. And Come on. There it is. Go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlin did. Even dead? He's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe, both of you. Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. I don't know. I'll do everything to keep you safe. I'll keep you safe too.
looks like we got some company, guys. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Come on out. We do. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. The one Brody was scared of. Yeah. Stay here. Uh, here we go, guys. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Uh, let's just go on the limb and just finish him, dude. <laughs> Sir, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. <sighs> Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. <sighs> I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! <sighs> Let him go, please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. It's been a while. Lily? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? Well, we were I already portrayed one not time. Now. We ain't gonna accept help from anybody. <laughs> Nobody at all. Nah. Nope. Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you, if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. Maybe, but you'll die first. Brave, but stupid. I'm surprised you made it this far. You need a better plan than just killing your enemies. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. 
Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to well, save guys, your little one, taking a shot. Pick Let's do it. Shoot! Out of here, man. Without screwing nothing up. I ain't joking. Yeah, let's go this way and see what happens. Oh, God. I honestly just cannot imagine like, being tossed out. Nobody's forgiving us. A kid is injured, having to carry him. Nobody else is helping. 
Is there anything that can go more worse than this? I don't know, man. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad, man. Just get him a new shirt. It's got like freaking rips in it. There. Oh my dear. Get the shrapnel out. That uh, has to freaking hurt like a I'll bitch. Keep still. Can't lie, man. Well, there's three. Let's get all three of them out and then we'll be done. Does it have to be freaking slow? My dear. It's gonna suck. Just imagine it, like, it's already enough for me. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. I think he used tape. It's I think like that's like one of the worst things to use. If, let's see if I want to take it off. It's gonna like start peeling oh, away at the wound. Easy, it's gonna be like easy. Where's our stuff? Tape My sucks. Guns. We lost it, buddy. In any situation like this, oh, it's got going shot. to suck a lot. I saw. A lot. They saved us. Can't yeah, imagine, they did. man. It sucks. D Thanks, game, for saying what's on my mind. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. He could be trying to poison us, guys. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. It's Jackie Chan when he's 20! James. And I'm gonna stop, like... Why did you I help us, I'm stop myself James? before I even see him. The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? Uh, you don't know too much about these guys. I hardly know anything about them. But I'm gonna go with you my insignia. They attacked you. They'll attack you. Gotta say what I know. Yeah. And I don't know much. too much. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight, train them, use them. 
you would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. I mean, he seems alright. May as well try it out. difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. <sighs> You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters, take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. <sighs> I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Well guys, looks like we're staying after all. But, 
it's not confirmed yet. Only the trophy says that. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. Huh? We're exhausted. Yeah, I'm not even gonna no, elaborate. I've got him. Oh, we're actually good. <laughs> I forgot that I was like able to control it for a sec. I was like, wow. What am I doing? It'd be funny if like I was able to dodge with him. Hurt. Hang on. Boy, that we're would almost hurt. there. That would hurt a lot. Being tired and just. Walker! They should. Violet! Lewis! They came back! Look, you live out there alone, right? Imagine if they would have got him, though. You could stay with us. Not ready. I can't keep carrying you. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's got a fever. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Great, now he knows. After his playfulness in the past. It's okay, buddy. I got you. I mean, we care about AJ as a character, but I don't think most people are going to forgive the fact that he still killed somebody. Just saying, man. It happens. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. And Clem, shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand. Let's be very blunt here and just swear like one time. Be a little playful. He say you said I can't swear. <sighs> we can make an exception. What do we do? We say, we say fuck off to fear. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. What happened out in the woods? I saw they had you pinned and I... Shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. 
and then Lewis got shot six, six inches over, we'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. It's just everything is so fucked right now, you know? Everyone is scared, Clem. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, I... Lily. So you do know her. We were wondering. Who the hell is she? I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you? I mean, I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together. Long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on, you know it was different. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ, let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust anybody. Look, he's not with the raiders. He lives by himself in the woods. Willie well, said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Ugh, wow. Okay. I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's not that I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child-snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided. Five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You're sitting in Marlin's chair, aren't you? You're their leader now. They'll listen to you. They don't, though. They only listen when they want to. Well, they'll have to start if they want to survive what's coming. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too, if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Look at this place. It's a fortress. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. Here, let me show you. So we really gotta plan something, huh? We've Let's got do good, it. strong walls. We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Hey. I say this the This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. Uh, second uh, to last. You guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. 
safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Well, he told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. Shh, would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. All I know is that since she showed up, it's been trouble. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Mitch! Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> Since no one else stepped the fuck up. These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. See you there. I'm so sorry, little dude. Please be okay. I... I guess I didn't realize how long it's been, how much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day, or you gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Well, there's your academy sign right there. Guys, this may be a little blunt, but hey, I think this will be the most appropriate time to end off the episode, so guys, hope you guys enjoyed this lovely and uh, plot twisty, sparkly episode of The Walking Dead, the final season, and I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe, like, comment, or anything else. Peace out, everyone.